What's going on YouTube, Giosno right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the iOS 14.3 from a lower version without it being signed and without having saved blobs. So this method doesn't require any SHSH blobs and it works even without any exploit and so on. So as you're probably aware, iOS 14.3 is no longer signed, but it's jailbroken with Uncover and Taurine. So if you're running a very old version like 13 point something or 12 point something or 11 point something, and so on, this would actually be very useful and especially if you're running 14.1, 14.0, 14.2 and so on, these are actually very buggy versions of iOS 14 and of course it would be recommended to go to 14.3 according to Coolstar. So even though it's no longer signed, you can still do it. Apparently some people on this card found a method which basically abuses some enterprise provisioning profiles or something so that you can get iOS 14.3. Now I'm going to actually show you how to do this I'm going to show you the entire process but before we get into that I would like to talk a little bit about it because it's important and because this is not going to work for everybody so at first it's known that the a14 devices do not work with this method so one of the people who actually found this there are two people here Diana KG and another person uh, Tan Beer but Diana KG posted a little bit of a write-up in here explaining how this works and apparently the a14 devices do not work with this so no iPhone 12 12 Pro and so on so do not try it on that but for the rest of the devices this should work so what you basically need is this tweak my blocks which you can get from this repo here my xx dev and then you need a profile which is available here on this link which is called 90 day delay so with a combination of these you would be able to get an ota update for 14.3 however i would definitely encourage you to read everything in here and the write-up here to understand better how this works because as i said it doesn't work for everybody and although many people reported success with it some people reported failures so for example some people try to go from 14.3 rc which is basically a beta to the stable version of 14.3 and for some people this worked but for some people this didn't and you should also keep in mind that you may get some issues with the connection you may not for example be able to connect to the apple server and that's because basically everybody is trying to do this at the same time so the server might be down you may also have some problems with the ios device not being able able to search for updates everything is detailed here on this post so basically if you disabled OTA updates with uncover for example you would have to turn them back on if you disable the OTA diamond with iCleaner you would have to turn that back on so the entire process is actually detailed here the very first thing you need to do is to jailbreak your current version for example if you're on 13.7 or 14.1 or 14.2 whatever jailbreak and be in a jailbroken state and then install the my blocks tweak here I'm going to actually Actually go on the device and show you how to do this so once you are on your device the first thing you'd like to make sure is that you are able to get updates so if you navigate here to general and software update you should be able to get whatever is latest at the moment so you can see that i am able to get the 14.4.2 which is currently the latest version so my updates are not blocked if you get an error when you're trying to get any of the updates here if it doesn't load or it loads forever and so on check out your uncover make sure that the uh, ota updates are not disabled in uncover or in taurine or in icleaner pro and so on so make sure you don't mess with the ota diamond if that that actually works the next order of business would be to add that repo myxdev.github.io so basically this one here myxxdev.github.io and here on all packages you have to install the my blocks so if you're running iOS 11 or 12 you get the one from the top if you're running iOS 13 or 14 you get the one from the bottom it's pretty simple so you press in here you press install and that's it so once you install it if everything went well after a respring if you go here to settings right on top of your name should be this little message here it says that this iPod is supervised and managed so in your case it would be iPhone or iPad but it should say that in there if it doesn't there's something wrong with the my blocks so make sure you fix those problems first my blocks also creates a settings page here so this one here where you can install standard profile and so on but we're not going to need the standard profile we're going to need the one from reddit so once you navigate here to reddit the link will be in the description down below you should see the guide here and you can see that there is a 
a profile link that you have to click. But this is something important. This video will no longer work after April 26th. So you have to do this before April 26th because this will expire. So now after you have the My Blocks installed, you press the profile link here. It's going to load. Make sure you load it in Safari. It doesn't work in Chrome or whatever. So make sure you get this page in Safari, press on that link and it's going to say that this website is trying to download a configuration profile. You press allow and then you press close. Now you need to go here to settings and back all the way here and you're going to see profile downloaded. We press on it and it's going to ask if you want to install untitled. So there are a couple of restrictions, delayed software update in force, delayed period for delayed software. So this is important because this is basically how this works by abusing those delays for the corporate market. So I'm going to press install here, press install again, press install again here and that's it. And now I'm going to close everything here and reload the settings bundle. And after I go here to general and software update, and as you can see in my case here, it says iOS 13.3, which this device runs currently. And it says that software update availability is being managed by your administrator. So I'm going to go to automatic updates here, toggle this on. If you don't see any updates right now here, you're going to have to reboot your device. But something I would like to mention, if you have any sort of profiles aside from this one, for example, like the tvOS profile or any other profile to block OTA updates, you would have to delete that first before installing this one and reboot your device before installing this one, because otherwise you're not going to see any updates. So as you can see right now, if you go here to the software update, it's going to say that the software update is managed by your administrator. So I'm going to actually reboot and be right back. All right, so after a reboot, you can see I'm no longer in the jailbroken mode because I'm jailbroken with check rain on this device. But if I go here, it still says that the iPod is indeed supervised. But now if I go here to general and software update, you can see that now I have the iOS 14.3 and the update has been requested. So it's going to start automatically to install the thing. The first thing you would want to do now is to restore rootfs and then reboot your device so that when you update, your device is in a clean state rather than the jailbroken state. So if you see this here right now, the iOS 14.3, whatever, stop the update, don't let it update yet and go ahead in whatever jailbreak you have, check rain or uncover or, you know, uh, Odyssey or whatever and do a rootfs restore. You don't have to erase all the contents from the device, but do a rootfs restore on your device. And then once it comes back after reboot, CDF should no longer be here, Falza should no longer be here, iSecureOS should no longer be here, your device should be clean. And only then you should go ahead in here in general software update and of course start the update. So as you can see, it's downloading. Now this is pretty big and with my internet here in Italy, that's going to take an hour. But as you can see, this works. Now a lot of people said that this is actually quite fiddly and for some people it gave errors when it tried to verify it but most of the errors were on the A14 so if your device is an A14 device then it's not going to work so yeah you can see it's exactly the iOS 14.3 and right now I'm running on this device 13.3 so if you check it out in here it says 13.3 so you can see that I'm actually on a very old version and with this I have a chance to update the 14.3 which is much newer it's basically iOS 14 and I can get all those features without blobs saved. But do this before April 26th. After April 26th, this is no longer going to work. So this works on the A12 devices, A13 devices. So you can do this on the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR. You can do this on the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and even lower. For example, this one is an iPod Touch 7 generation, the latest iPod Touch from 2019. And as you can see, it works. But yeah, it's going to take time and definitely try to do it. But don't install the update before getting rid of Cydia and whatever jailbreak you have. So do a rootfs restore first when you see that you can download the 14.3. So yep, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.